Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Mary, and I'm glad to be back. So, tonight I'm going to show you how to um, iron on a napkin. There's so many pretty napkins out there on Etsy. And this is one I purchased through Truly All Supplies, and she is on Etsy. So, I will leave a link in my description box so that you can visit her store and see all the napkins that she does have. Here's some other ones I have done recently. Now this particular napkin is not available through her store. <laughs> that was one I just happened to have. Uh, so anyway, here's one that was is available through her store. And here's another one that's available. Sorry for the angle, but that's what I have. And that's another one. It's the same napkin. It's just a different uh, view of it. And I thought I had another one there, but I don't. Okay, so first you want to start off with you're going to need to have some sort of a, a base to iron on. So you're going to want to have a towel, and I'm using just an old um, cardboard thing that used to be part of a, an old album scrapbook. And then you're going to want to use parchment paper and some plastic wrap. I went with the Aldi's brand, and it tears terribly. I can tell you that right now but what cling wrap doesn't. In order to get all the layers off your napkin, you're gonna to want to take a piece of tape and you're gonna just pull that up. Now I've had my iron over here and it's pretty hot already. I have a cheaper iron so it takes a little bit more heat to get the uh, plastic wrap uh, melted. Otherwise, um, if you have a better iron, it you may just only have to set it on the medium setting. So you're going to want to take this and tear it carefully so that you don't tear your napkin. And there you are. So pretty transparent on the back. And then you've got four. This just happened to have four of the same seams. So then what you're going to do is, um, well, what I'm going to do. <laughs> now you could use an all-in-one kind of a cardstock, but if you're going to, let's see, let's go ahead and do that anyway, or you could just use, say, a 5x7 um, a or whatever, just to make sure that you get a little bit of that design on there, well, most of it anyway. I'm going to use a pretty, I'm not sure what the weight of this paper is, but it's pretty thick and it's cardstock. So you're going to always want to have your parchment paper down first. And it doesn't matter what kind you use, just make sure it's parchment paper and not wax paper. You don't want wax paper. That'd be a mess. Okay, let me put this over here for a moment. So you're going to put down your cardstock. You could always have, I could have torn out a bigger piece of, uh, of the, what do you call it? What is this called? Parchment paper. But I didn't. And I've been working with this. It's just fine. And then you're going to want to, uh, whoops, if I bumped that, I'm sorry. Anyway, you're going to want to tear off enough of this. Which, by the way, is kind of difficult to use. 
at times. It's a little bit more sticky than other times. I think cling rack is best for <clears throat> clinging to itself instead of to the the food bowl that you're trying to cover. <laughs> so anyway, um, let me see if I can get this down. I might be able to get it down, and then I may not. I don't know. You might be able to hear the crickets outside my window. Yes, I'm filming this at night, and I had, I've just been very, very tired earlier today. I just didn't feel like doing much of anything. We did get out for a little while, but I don't know. I just, when you're tired, you're tired, and you just want to go home and take a big old nap. And that's exactly what I did when we came home. I just took a big nap. Okay, so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your design of your napkin and you're gonna put it over there. No worries if it doesn't cover the entire cardstock. At this point, I'm not worried about that. You know, there's a little bit of the design that hangs off here and there. I don't know if you're able to see all that or not. But then what you're going to do is you're going to take your parchment paper, your other piece of parchment paper, and you're going to put it down just like this, making sure there's not any kind of, oh, wrinkles underneath there. The creases that naturally occur with, you know, when, when you buy some napkins, the crease will automatically iron out of there. That's what irons are good for, to get the creases out. So this iron, I bought it off of, um, it's a cheap iron. Let me see if you can see the name. Well, anyway, <laughs> I got it off of Amazon. So now, I've got this set up pretty high. I need to have it pretty high is what I, oh dear. And sometimes that happens where the, um, where the cling wrap likes to get stuck to the um, iron. But what I've been able to do is just sort of roll off those pieces once they're dry dry <laughs> well you know what I'm saying you just are careful you got to be careful not to get it all over your iron let's put it that way I don't know what I was saying about that and like I said depending on what kind of iron you have you know if it's a really nice iron you may not have to set yours so high like I'm having to do with mine. See, I watched somebody's video on this and I watched them do it and they said to set it on medium. Well, I tried that with mine and it didn't work. So I have to have mine up a little bit higher. You might wanna test yours out to make sure that of what temperature you need to set it at. You don't want to have this on steam. For one thing, you will be uh, steaming your hand and your fingers, and that, believe you me, will not take uh, <laughs> will not feel very good. And so far, anything that I have gotten on there, you it just it eventually just goes away anyway. You just want to make sure you don't really get it on there. And you're just wanting to make sure that that saran wrap or plastic wrap, food wrap, is um, definitely 
melted to the point where it causes your image to adhere to the card. And you're gonna to wanna to move your iron around so as not to scorch your paper. Now then, let's see if this took already. This is going to be kind of warm. Okay, I can see right here. Oh, wow, look how this likes to roll up. So you can see right there, it hasn't taken there and not over there either. And not there. So you're just going to have to allow some more time. Well, at least with my iron, I do. Like I said, if you have a, a Rowenta iron or one of those other classy irons, then maybe you won't have to um, wait as long as I do with like I do with my iron. I don't have a row into. I'm just saying a better iron might give you the results you want maybe a little bit faster. I haven't really made too many of these. I just got these. Um, I just found... <clears throat> the truly all supplies on etsy through um when i watched uh gail agostinelli's um video if you're not familiar with her video check her out as well she makes all kinds of neat things but she also buys her um uh, beautiful napkins from truly all supplies I'm kind of trying to figure out I mean right now I just have my phone on a tripod of sorts and I thought I would just try to get a video this way Cause I got too much stuff on my other desk to set up over there. So it just makes it for a nice, fun, easy way to make, um, if you're willing to be patient with your iron, <laughs> um, a fun way, I should say, maybe. Maybe not easy. It depends. Um, but a fun way to make cards. I'm just applying a very light pressure to this. I'm not applying a real, um, you know, heavy pressure to the iron. Okay, now let's see if that has taken. That looks like it may have. I'm really hoping it did. Uh-oh. Well, way up there in the corner, it didn't really take. Let's see if it took everywhere else. Hmm. <laughs> Where that crease was makes it look like a funny owl but it's actually a side of a bird you know a bird looking this way and a bird looking that way hmm. but actually since I've cut off a lot of that on the other side I'm not really too worried about that particular uh, corner 
then I could go ahead and let's just try it again. Everything else seems to have stuck just fine except for over here. So yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> but anyway, this gives you a basic um, the basics of doing this. It's kind of a trial and error. If you're one that's been doing it for a while, then you're you're a champ at it, and you already know the ins and outs of how to do this. But I thought that if you haven't ever tried it before, and you're wondering, well, that person made it look really easy, but is it really that easy? So that's why I'm here. <laughs> I'm here to show you that if I can make this work, then you can make it work. I think the idea is just to have a better iron. And also, I find that um, if you get plaster grab that's a little bit too thick, you might be waiting a long time for it to stick as well. So let's see if it's stuck on here now. What do you think? Yep. Stuck over there. Stuck there. Yep. So now this this sheet of um, napkin, of course it's the same scene, it's just repeated, can now be used in cards and scrapbooking layouts. All right. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope you have a pleasant evening and a good day tomorrow. Bye-bye. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> oh, there's my thumbs there. There you go. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.